solve the system writing the solution as an ordered triple if possible. All right, so I have the system 2x minus y plus 2z equals 6, negative x plus y plus z equals 0, negative x minus 3z equals negative 6. Notice right away that we have an equation here just in x and z. So I'm going to try and work with the first and second equations to get a, another equation just in terms of x and z. And what I see right away is those two equations have a negative y and a positive y. So that leads right to an elimination. So I'm going to just say let's add one equations 1 and 2. Adding equations 1 and 2 together yields x plus 3z equals 6. All right, and let me just take equation 3 and rewrite it. Equation 3 was negative x minus 3z equals negative 6. Now notice that if I add these, I'll get an elimination. Right? I would get 0x, but I also get 0z. And the right-hand side is 0. And so I get 0 equals 0, and this is an identity. And when this happens, we know that the system has infinitely many solutions. All right, now, how do we deal with that? It asks us to write the solution as an ordered triple. And we know we have many solutions. So here's what we generally do. We do something like this. We let z equal itself, just some number. Now, I know that from the previous step, I know that x plus 3z equals 6. So then I can solve this equation for x and get it in terms of z. So then x would equal 6 minus 3z. So now I have a value for z. If z is some number, then x is 6 minus 3 times that number. And now I just need to find a value for y. So I'm going to use the, uh, the second original equation that says that negative x plus y plus z equals 0. And now I can say, well, if z is some number, then x is 6 minus 3 times that number. And we still have y here. So I just made a substitution for x. Uh, again, I need to solve for y. So let's see, that's negative 6 plus 3z plus y plus z equals 0. So I can rewrite this as y minus 6 plus 4z equals 0, which means that y would equal positive 6 minus 4z. So putting that all together, what I can say is the solution takes the form 6 minus 3z, 6 minus 4z, comma z. And this tells us all of the solutions of this system. Now we could find a specific solution. might be, well, what if we let z equal, say, 2? If z is 2, then 6 minus 3 times 2 is 0. 6 minus 4 times 2 is negative 2, 2. 0, negative 2, 2 is one solution of this system, but it is not the only solution. All right, and so we would generally report the solution of the system in a form similar to this.